Becky. Becky, what's the problem? What's going on? Oh, your Majesty, let me be. Oh, just let me be. No, 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 no. Becky, whatever the problem is, you're not answering the Majesty's call. Is is an insult. And one more thing, you do not ask the Queen of a Solo Kingdom to leave any room in the palace. Here I am, the mother of all. Listen, my dear. Tell me what it is. I will help you. Okay? What is it? Mm. Your Majesty. Yeah. What is it? The Anointed Queen is in labor. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Get her for me. Get her for me. Get her for me. Get her for me. Let her die. Let her be, be, be that dying. Let her die. Let her useless child. I know. Our tradition forbids a king or prince of Iselu from following his wife to the place of birth. We stay home and await the news of her delivery. To me. Your Majesty. You summon all the others for me immediately. All right, Your Majesty. Uh, uh, to me. Your Majesty. Arm the royal bed cannons as tradition demands. Congratulations, son. <laughs> it's a baby girl, a princess. <laughs> How did you know, father? The single cannon shot is the traditional way of announcing the birth of a princess in the cello. <laughs> yes, I'm a father. And I am a grandfather. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Your Majesty. Thank you very much. The prince? And indeed, all a cell of people. Congratulations. Yes. Forty-two years after the death of the last one, the kingdom has now a royal princess. Oh, <laughs> a royal angel. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm sure the, the celebration will run in two weeks. <laughs> oh, here comes Her Majesty with the fertility chalk. Congratulations, Grandmother. Congratulations. <laughs> His Majesty. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, and to the newest father. Uh, 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 Thank you. Congratulations. A trouble. <laughs> what a happy kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. 
What's the problem, Becky? Your Majesty. I don't have any problem. Lucia and the newborn princess have been outside the palace gate for the past 15 minutes waiting for you to enter the compound. And you were. Your Majesty, I'm sorry, but I'm not a palace guard. Becky, tradition demands that all the maidens in the extended royal family would be led by you to bow down before the princess as she comes into the palace for the first time. All the maidens are outside waiting for you, and you're Why here. Why are they waiting for me, Your Majesty? Eh? Why are they waiting for me? I'm not a member of the, the royal palace. Who am I married to? What do you mean, who are you married to? You're my second son's bride. I don't know him. And he doesn't know me either. You see, and I came into this palace the same day as royal bride. Your Majesty, I'm, 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 I'm not a piece of wood, though. I'm a woman and I have feelings as well. Today, she's coming back to, to this palace with her first child. I'm still yet to see the man I'm supposed to be married to. Your Majesty, just, just, just leave me alone, oh, please. Look at me, Becky. I am giving you my word of honor that no matter how busy Akatuku is over there in Switzerland, he will return here in a matter of weeks to formally wed you. Are you serious? I said it's my word of honor. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Can you help me dress up so I can come back? I'll send along to you. I called you to inform you that my younger son, Prince Akachuku, will be returning to Eselo this weekend. Communicate same to the people of your different villages and get them to prepare accordingly. He must be given a resounding reception. I have spoken. As his majesty pleases. It's not a problem. I'll let you know what's on top Ah. Let me call you back. Hey, Becky. <laughs> Here you are. Well, I heard your husband will be coming back this weekend. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And how is your baby? Oh, my baby is fine. Mm, I can see that you're very happy. <laughs> and very curious too. I mean, I, I don't know what kind of man he'll turn out to be. And it really bothers me. Listen, if it's like his brother as everyone says, then you need not to be worried. Listen, my husband is so loving and caring. She sees the way he takes care of my baby and I, as if the world revolves around us, God. Oh God, I'm so lucky to have him. Like, I love him so much that I can't even... I need to sleep. Um, you, you just said... Get out of my room, Lucia. Okay. But congratulations. Just a stupid idiot. <laughs> so you came here to add salt to my injury, to mock me, ranting about the same man you took from me. Ah, oh, it is not your fault. <laughs> it is never your fault, Lucia. God, I have suffered.
You did a very fantastic job. You are indeed a professional. Your Highness, I'm scared. <laughs> scared? Well, the time for that is far gone because the deed has already been done. Anyway, like I said, that's the money I told you. to work here. I mean, how do I look their majesties in the face after all this? Well, it's okay. Suit yourself, whatever you like. But I think you have to stay here for a couple of more days. You don't want them to get suspicious. After which you can take the money, go wherever you like. Be useful to yourself, if you like. <laughs> like I said, Nice job. Lord the more. Like you said, the deed is already done.
Stop. Stop stabbing me. Stop. Stop. I'm not the mastermind of this whole thing. Stop. Stop stabbing me. Stop. Stop stabbing me. Timmy. Timmy, stop shouting. It's deep into the night. I'm sorry for it was a nightmare. I'm sorry, okay. I'm sorry. Let's go back to sleep. I'm sorry. Timmy, for three consecutive nights now, you've had the same nightmare. Who has been stabbing you in your dreams? I said it was a nightmare, okay. I'm sorry for um, waking you guys up. Let's just go back to sleep. Timmy, from the first night you had this night dream, you've been evading our questions. Tell us who stabs you in the dream. Or you'll be telling their majesties in the morning. No, 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 see, you can't do that to me, okay? Timmy, we know there is something wrong, but you must have to confide in us. Okay, um, I will. It's Prince Akachu. Prince Akachu. When we insisted that he tell us who was having him in his dream, he said it was Prince Akachu. What? Did he tell you why Akachu was stabbing him in the dream? No, Your Highness. We tried as much as we could, but he refused. We are suspecting that he might know something about the abominable mother of Prince Akachuku. Oh, even be behind it himself. <sighs> God suffer seller. My own God murdered my own son. No. Please, my ancestors, let this be a lie. What do we do, Your Majesty? Do we hand him over to the police for interrogation? We cannot allow... No, 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 please. Son, it's okay. Um, let's find out from him first. He could possibly turn out to be hired hand by a more sinister person than him. God. Yes, Your Majesty. Bring him in. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> No money. I cannot afford to risk everything. That's what is for on my scheming. Your Highness, 
husband does not ask a wife what he's doing in on his bed at night. He performs his matrimonial duties on her. Matrimonial duty? What are you talking about? <laughs> My lord, please. Don't tell me you're unaware of the fact that one of the implications of your brother's death is that I automatically become your second wife. What? Oh, please. Lucy is still nursing her child. I'm sure she will not mind losing you to me for just one night. If you don't know your way to your father's house, the guards will escort you tomorrow morning. I can see you're done mourning my brother, right? Your Highness. Get out of my house. Look, you can't blame me, all right? I'm just, we're destined to be together, can't you see? Huh? Look, I'm going to the balcony. If you follow me, I'll throw you downstairs. Do you understand? What's going on here, Becky? Um, where are you going with your luggage? Oh, my luggage. I'm actually moving my things into my husband's room, just like you did after your wedding. Um, our husband? Of course. The Crown Prince. He's now married to both of us, courtesy of his younger brother's death. <sighs> Becky, that's a very wicked lie. Really? Yes. Why don't you ask your husband? Or oh, maybe you should ask the chiefs. How come no one told me about this all along? Not even my own husband. I wonder. That's very surprising. Am I not the last person who should ask that question? Of course you are. Okay, um, give me my things. <sighs> that was a wrong move, Becky. A wicked one at that. My son would be so furious at you for this. Wouldn't you have waited for the traditional mourning period to be over? I'm, I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I can still complete the mourning while I'm properly married to my new husband. I am not your husband, Becky. Am I to take it that you masterminded my brother's death? What? What? Oh my God. Oh God. <laughs> My lord, I mean, th that was too harsh. Um, we all know that Becky could be very insensitive. But I, I don't think, I don't believe that she could be capable of such a wicked act. Leave him. Let him say what you like and say what you like. You can kill me if you like. I don't blame you. It's not your fault. <laughs> I don't blame you, you can accuse me and call me anything you like, it's not your fault. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay back here. It's okay. I have raised this same issue before my cabinet and due to its unprecedented nature, we have decided to consult the oracle to tell us what your fate is. Once the chief priest returns from his annual pilgrimage in the Cove of the Gods, till then, Becky, return your things to your room and don't disturb them ever again. Your Majesty! I have spoken. nature of the matter and the fact that our royal laws are not quite clear on what should be done should a thing like this happen we are here to inquire of the gods what is the fate of Prince Akatuku's bride 
now that he's no more. Is she to become the crowned prince's second wife? God Safesenu, great Abani, speak and clarify the souls that seek knowledge. I've heard you mighty ones. Elders of Eselu. By Prince Akachuku's death, his bride automatically becomes the second wife of the reigning king. What? The gods said you must start sleeping with her tonight. Ah, oh, Jogor. The gods have spoken. You can do nothing like one and two. You can do nothing like one and two. Thank you, wise one. Uh, let's go. You can do nothing like one and two. This officer said they are here to answer a distress call from my highness, Becky. A distress call from my palace? Yes, so. I'd rather confess and be executed than have you sleep with me. Confess and be executed? What are you talking about? I did it. I sent to you to go and kill Prince Akato and his guards. I also killed Timmy to cover it up. I am also the same person behind the kidnap of Lucia. And I'm ready to do much more. Officers. Take her away. Take her away before she blocks her ears with her. Yes, take me away. I want to confess and die that, that, that I have this thing to me. And I bet you'll be. You'll be executed like the common criminal you are. You swine! Cockerel of the people cries in a people's tongue. But when the thunder roars in one kingdom, his voice is heard in kingdoms far and near. All animals roam the jungle, but the jungle belongs to the lion. That people of the same age are equal is just a verbal expression. There are kings and there are kings. And for that reason, when some kings speak, 
others maintain absolute silence. Leaders of a Selu, the anointed voice that speaks for a Selu kingdom has forever gone silent. The big tree that shelters the beds of the air has fallen. The jungle has lost its chant. What do we do now? Indeed, this is a very sad moment. Our great Agony Chamber. Oh. But then, the bed, marriage, and passage of kings in a cell are things that are highly regulated by tradition. Of course. We shall do what the tradition requires of us in times like this. Oh no. You see, there is nothing much we can do now in the absence of the crown prince who is now holidaying with the immediate family. Hmm. Well, we shall send for him. Meantime, let us go inside and console the queen. Hmm? What are you doing here? What brought you all the way from Meselu Kingdom to Calabar? Is everything all right? I must speak to His Highness immediately. His Highness? What for? The message is for his ears first. Ah, very well then. Come in. the matter back home. I need to speak to you privately, Your Highness. Um, you need to speak to him privately. I mean, tell, tell me. What, 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 what? Please, please, please. Come down. Come down. Just wait for me inside. Let me hear you. in SLO last night, Your Highness. Who was it? His Majesty, the Agony Chamber, the twelfth of SLO Kingdom. Gods of SLO. voice of Eselu went silent yesterday. What? Yeah, I 
Ordinarily, I am too devastated to be in this meeting. But like our people say, when the head is bowed to its cup, then this cup must learn to take care of itself, no matter how the weather is. Today, my head has been bowed to its cup by the unforeseen hand of death. It also bad us and the entire kingdom. My prince, accept the condolence of uh, the entire people. Thank you. I'm in your midst to ask you one question. What next? Well, the vacuum on the ancient throne must be properly filled. However, that cannot be done until His Majesty is committed to the Mother Earth. That being the case, it is the Crown Prince that should give the order at all times. And that order I hereby give. All arrangements towards giving my father a very befitting burial should commence now. I said befitting and befitting it must be. Oh no. Your Highness. Take charge of all arrangements and constantly give me detailed information of what is going on. I have spoken. As Your Highness, please. Becky, what are you doing in my room without me? Oh, Mama, pack all the things in this room, take them to my room, and bring all the ones from my room down here, immediately. Are you out of your mind? Huh? Our husband is dead and has been buried. I am now the crown prince's second wife. Hmm? Becky, this is the room of the queen. And you are not yet the queen. Even if my son marries you as his second wife, this kingdom has found an anointed queen in Lucia. Now get out of my room. <laughs> Indeed, if I were you, old woman, I would find a way to start courting Becky to ensure that the rest of my stay in this palace is peaceful and enjoyable. You do not need me to remind you how powerful a queen can be in a kingdom, do you? What is the meaning of that? Mm, my son. A day after your father's burial, Becky here is asking me to vacate my room. What? Becky, you? <laughs> your Highness, I have automatically become your second wife. This room is for the Queen, and not the Queen Mother, like she's become. If you're not in your mourning clothes, I would have given you the beating of your life. <laughs> It is the most dishonorable thing for a king to lay hands on his queen. Get out of this room. Get out of this room now! Get out. This is my room. Is she crazy? She is certainly crazy. She is. Because it's only a mad woman that will celebrate the death of her husband the way she's going about it. Ha! God's of a sin. Becky has just mocked my husband's memory. Ah! Ah! Well, she automatically becomes your second wife. And I don't have the right to send her away. 
Well, you can only do that if she is found committing adultery or perhaps she has committed some other abominable acts. But, Your Highness, how come these uh, questions? No, thank you. How is the coronation preparation going? Uh, uh, well, splendid. It's going according to your instruction. Good. Keep me posted as usual. Of course I will. I will, Your Highness. Your Highness, I beg to take my leave. I have a meeting with the Coronation Organizing Committee members. performs his matrimonial duties on her. Matrimonial duty? What are you talking about? <laughs> My lord, please. Don't tell me you're unaware of the fact that one of the implications of your brother's death is that I automatically become your second wife. What? Your Highness. Ikwi, tell my mother I want to have a private discussion with her in her room in five minutes. Yes, Your Highness. Come in, son. Oh, here you are, my son. Are you going to work? Yes, ma'am. I have a question. Who was with that the night he died in his sleep? It was. It was Becky. Did you notice anything unusual about his health the night before he died? No. Why are you asking? Are you suspecting foul play? Uh, no, Mom. I... It's okay. Have you had anything to eat? Yes, and you? I'll be dining with my wife and daughter after leaving this place. Bon appétit. Merci. Becky, wait. What is it? We need to talk. Talk 
about what? Honey, I'm sure we can do that after love making. You know, this is our first night together, okay? This is... Forget about love making and tell me why you killed my father. What? Are you accusing me? This is not an accusation. You killed him. <laughs> your Highness, is this a ploy to get me out of your life or something? Becky, I'm giving you two options. Pack your things and leave. Or be prepared to go through the denial ritual at the shrine of Oboni. If it is proved that you killed my father, you're going to be buried alive there and then. Is that how you want to end your life? Your Highness, have you told anybody about this? Leave my room now. I'd like to speak with you, in private. Equi, Your Majesty, leave us. I'm listening. I've decided to leave, just as you demanded. Is that to say you murdered my father? I am not a murderer. Obviously, you hate me so much that you could raise such a scandalous allegation against me. And it's okay. I'm leaving because I want to live my life in peace. And probably see if I could find some other man that would love me. So when are you leaving? That's why I came. I, I need at least a week to properly put myself together. Granted. Thanks. Becky, where are you going to without your morning clothes? Without Uloma and... Oh, please. My days in this palace are not bad. Oh, hasn't your darling husband told you that already? Spare me. Spare me all this traditional bullshit. I am no longer a part of it. Even at that, Becky, it is a mark of disrespect of the worst kind for a wife of a dead man in Isalu to be seen without her money clothes for less than one month after his burial. <sighs> Listen, his majesty deserves some respect from you even in death. What about me? What about me? I don't deserve nothing from the sun. Becky, if there are I'll be shut your mouth and make way for me to pass. Get out of my sight. Idiot. Becky! What is it? You pushed me. Oh, you wanted to kill you. Do you want me to strangle you? Stupid idiot. Fool. Of yours. Open that gate. 
Otherwise, I'll run this kind to it at the count of ten. Becky, you cannot go anywhere dressed this way. Hey, God, this woman, this woman, I can see you're determined to have my blood in this, in, in this palace. You want to have my blood on your hands, right? Okay, stay there at the count of three. One, uh, uh, up, two, up, no! Up, no! Kuta la kuta makuta halkuta la kuta hakuta la halai. La kuta makuta la kuta halai. This is it, the most potent of its kind. What you need to do is to spread the powdery content across across her door. When she crosses it, she will run mad and remain so for the rest of her life. <laughs> The fee is 200,000 naira. Wise one, if this works just like you said it works, I promise you, <laughs> I will give you much more than this. Put the money in the same calabash you put her picture. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, wise one. It will work. Thank you, wise one. And it has never failed. Let it work, on. Thank you. <laughs> La kuta makuta, la kuta makuta, la la la. La kuta makuta, la kuta makuta, makuta la kuta, la la. La kuta makuta. Come. Your Highness, is this the last luggage, Your Highness? Yes, sir. Okay. Everybody is waiting for you outside. I'll be coming. All right, Your Highness. A grand farewell for a rejected queen. Um, Becky, I want you to take this in good faith and understand that you promised to give me something. 
Or have they also talked you into swallowing your own words? I actually forgot. I'm really sorry. Um, please, could you excuse me and get something from her for my room? Sorry. Okay. Mm. Surprising. Oh. I thought you would order her to stand back, as usual. to drop me at home. I've been waiting outside for like forever. Becky, look at my wife. What about your wife? <sighs> Becky, you, you cannot go now. Eh? You cannot go. You cannot leave your, your cousin in this condition. Can't you see your her only biological family here? Yeah? She needs you. She needs us. Uh, but please help us. And I am not one. Take her to uh, Yaba left or something. If she has suddenly gone mad. Becky, we know. But you can be of help. Your Majesty, I am sorry. But I am not spending an extra minute in this palace. What am I staying here for? I want to go back to my father's house. Good and welcome. Tell the gods to bring in her things. Ijoma, please wait. Your Majesty, what am I staying in this palace as? Becky, I, I'm taking you in as a second wife. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so what do you want me to do with her? Let, let us take her to her room first. Mm. Ijoma, go now. Please, oh, go fight me. What is that? Listen, 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 come down, please. <laughs> I'm going to throw my own and I teach it. I'm going to throw my own and I teach it. I'm going to throw my own and I teach it. I'm going to throw my own and I teach it. I'm going to throw my own and I teach it. I'm going to throw my own and Ah, 
Wise one, what is happening? Why are you packing up? The God said I should leave her case to them. Leave her case to them? My wife is still mad and you, you, you're talking about... Look, she will never ever get well, no matter where you take her. Why is wrong? Are you saying that Her Highness, the Queen to be, the mother of the Princess of Estelu Kingdom, will remain like this forever? Mbano. Hey, the gods said that they will restore her sanity at their own time. And when they do, this palace, and indeed the entire kingdom, shall be rid of this tanker worm that has been eaten at the bone marrows of this kingdom. Wise one, I beg you on my knees. Please. Oh, no, 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 get up. Beg the gods, please. Oh, Majesty, get up. You don't need to do all that. Your daughter in law is pregnant. What? what? Pregnant. All you need to do is to take very good care of her. One day, I <laughs> 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 Mom, the chiefs are insisting I should formally marry Becky so as to have someone to crown with as my queen, as the tradition demands. They say Lucia's condition rules her out completely. I knew it would inevitably come to this. But I cannot marry Becky. Even if it will take Lucia a thousand years to become normal, I would rather wait till then than ascend the throne. Remember you gave Becky your word that you would marry her last week? Mom, I just did that out of emotions. I just can't betray the love I have for Lucia just like that. Son, you are not betraying her by getting married to Becky. You're just doing something that even Lucia herself knows that tradition demands of you. The sacred young month will soon be here. And you need to be a fully crowned Igwe to be able to perform your sacred duties for your people during the New Year festivities. Mom, I'll have to seek Lucia's consent first. Seek the consent of a mad I'm sorry. It's okay. Her condition notwithstanding, I have to at least inform her. If you say so. Oh, 
Remove the cuffs. There's something we need to discuss. The chiefs are insisting I should marry Becky before I ascend the throne. Do I have your support to go and ahead and do what they want me to do? Honey, you didn't hear me, did you? Honey, I'm talking to you. Baby, my room is calling you, Father. How can I hear the voice of an unborn child? Baby, my womb is calling you, Father. Put your ear to my belly and you will hear the voice of my baby. Okay. Can you hear the voice? Yes. Huh? yes can I you hear it now? Can, can you hear it? I can hear it. It's loud and clear. I can hear it. Does this sound like a male or female? Uh, I can't tell whether it's... You are lying to me! You are lying to me! Becky is taking my position in your life and you are lying to me! You are lying to me! You are lying to me! Why did you pay her love? Why did you pay her love? Just show me! Show me! Show me! Why did you pay her love? Why did you pay her love? Show me! God! Show me! God! Show me why you pay her love! Okay.
I want to see my husband. Your Highness, I'm sorry you can't. Huh? I want to see my husband! No, no! It's alright, Your Highness. Just take her to his room. His Majesty instructed that she should not be denied access to him at all times. Alright, just escort her to his room and watch her very closely. Yes, I'm sure. Isn't that go broke the dog I my cat and go with the broke dog like a pony. We say you get on. A joke. May I present to you His Royal Majesty Igwe Udemba, the Agony Chamber, the 13th of the Kingdom. Okay, <laughs> May His Royal Majesty now present his Queen to be crowned as well. Becky. Now may I have the sacred symbol of authority of the Queen of Esselu. From the Queen Mother. In line with the culture of Esselu, I formally relinquish 
the authority, duties, and privileges of the Queen's office. To she who shall henceforth be wearing this sacred necklace. Gods of Eselu. The gods of Eselu. What is this? Huh? What is happening? Oh. Oh. All right. All right. I will, I will do just that. Yes, I will do just that. I I want everybody here to come with me. Wise man, complete. The gods are leading the way. Let us follow them. Hey! Follow me, follow me. Everybody. Then, 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 then. When you are the chosen one, nothing or anyone can take your place. Cause your destiny is your destiny, no matter the plans of the enemy. People will try all kinds of things just to make sure you don't achieve it they will put you up and down but your back will never touch the ground mm, even if you fall you'll rise again cause it's your time to raise Ituama why did you allow her out of our room now? your majesty she insisted on taking the role in the combat and his majesty's I instructed that she should not be denied anything. But have you forgotten what is happening in the palace today? Will you take her back to her? Palace, Your Majesty. Neither Her Highness nor do to attend her. I act on their own. The gods brought her this way to take what rightly belongs to her. Queen of Fessel Kingdom. Oh, oh, we 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 oh, no, 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 no. That's totally unacceptable. Take the symbol from her. I am the crown queen of this land. The gods choose the queens of Fessel. And that is exactly what they've done here today. Ah, Jogo. Wise one. The rest of Fessel. How can a mad woman. Their Majesty. Leaders of Fessel. The people are waiting at the village square to greet their new Igwe. As for me, duty calls. You see, even the mad, what rightly belongs to her? 
Of course. Destiny, destiny. You'll be destiny, destiny, destiny. What will be, will be. Curse, whom the gods have blessed. No one can curse. No one can curse. No one can curse. Curse, whom the gods have blessed. No one can curse. No one can curse. The contractors that were doing some repairs in my father's house just called me to tell me they're finished. I want both of you to go and confirm it for me. Majesty, we are the only guards that are left in the palace. Our colleagues accompanied His Majesty and the Queen Mother to public functions. And by the laws of kings in Isolu, Your Highness, the palace must not be left unattended by the royal guards. Never mind. Um, let all the consequences be on me. What? What is what? You guys can go. Just give me the keys. I'll lock the gates behind you guys. Okay, go over to my room and help Ulama with the cleaning. Your Highness, I'm under a royal order never to leave up. Even when someone is here to help you out? Your Highness, any of my colleagues can help me if he becomes... I know that. That's the reason why I came here. They are not around. But Your Highness... Ulama is waiting for you in my room.
Searched the entire kingdom and even the neighboring territories, but she's nowhere to be found. Yes, Your Majesty. Gods of Esselu. <sighs> Becky, what in the name of God informed the stupid orders you gave the staff of this palace before Lucia attacked you and escaped the palace? <gasps> what exactly are you trying to say? I'm asking you what you know about her escape. Your Majesty, Lucia bit my precious ear off. And that does not mean anything to you. If anything happens to her, if anything happens to her, what will you do? What will you do, Your Majesty? Huh? You will kill me. Oh, okay. You will kill me because of some, some mad woman who is supposed to be in some psychiatric home? Oh, no. Oh, you want to kill me because of some, some lunatic who nearly murdered me today? What are you waiting for now? What are you waiting for? Kill me, oh. Kill me now. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me, your majesty. You don't kill talk me. to the oh, camera like that. Fuck up. What the hell are you? What gives you the freaking right to talk when I'm talking? You ancient swine. Nonsense. Becky. Oh, please. Go back here, your majesty. Let her be. Obani, Obani, is you came at Bachi Chuo, Ichukov, at Bachi Chukov, eh, Bolmane Bugla, Bai and Janja. What did the gods say, wise one? Your Majesty, go home and call off any for a search for her. Is that to say she is dead, wise one? Obani! I can't tell you what I can Ego <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, I was wondering if by any chance you have any idea of what could have happened to the occupants of this car? Oh, the three young men. They all died in the car. What a pity. Three young men. Wait, wait, uh, are you saying that there was no woman in the car with them? No, I'm very sure. Because I personally helped public health officials to remove their bodies from the car yesterday. 
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sure they must have killed her and buried her in the bush just like we agreed. Unfortunately, they all died too. What a convenient way of sealing this whole thing forever. <laughs> the symbol of authority. Who cares? <laughs> I'm sure the people of Isela will have to find another one. And when they do, I definitely will be the one to wear it. So, the battle has finally been won. No. Photograph is this? Your. Daddy, where is my mommy? Mommy? Yes. She's. Why don't you just tell her the truth, Your Majesty? Mm? Just tell her the simple truth. Becky, you were not invited here. <laughs> I didn't know already. Anyway, I came here to bring some very good news. <laughs> I'm pregnant for you. Like, I'm going to have a child. <laughs> Excuse me, didn't you hear what I said? Just in case you did not hear me, I said I am pregnant for you. I'm not deaf, Becky. You're not? Yes, leave the room for us, please. She's so callous. You look like you're so mean and so wicked. Even if you hate me, do you have to hate the same seed you planted in me? You don't even know if it's going to be a boy. As far as this child is in your womb, you and the child remain the same. Now, will you leave this room or do I have to call in the guard? Oh, please! Whatever, man. Fuck you, shit. You were asking me about mommy, right? Um, I just got a letter from the government house saying that the governor will be touring our local government next week. And he's paying me a courtesy call during the tour. That's great. Have you informed your chiefs? I just finished discussing with them during the cabinet meeting. And they listed out the things they feel I should demand from His Excellency when he comes. I want us to host him as a family. And I want you to be in charge of... 500,000 naira. Yes, that's exactly the amount I'll be needing to look my best. Oh my God, I need to shop. I need to... I need to... I need to, I need to represent this palace as the queen of this land. Becky, you only speak in my presence when I ask you to. And shut up your dirty mouth if I don't ask you to speak. You might just say, I'm just... Now get out of this place. Get out! Oh. Uh, Anger is a universal human trait. But for King's son, self control is of the essence. Go to your room 
and get hold of your emotions. We'll talk about this later. Yes, ma'am. I said, where is the key to the truck? I need to go out. I have it here with me. And let me have it. But your highness, this is the official car to the queen mother. And she's about visiting the orphanage with it. Come here. Shut up. In this palace. My word is order. The next time you argue with me, I will make sure you not only lose the tooth, you lose all of your teeth. Now give it to me, you ancient ape. Give it to me. Come to bring it. What is going on here? Nonsense. Your Majesty, she just collected the, the car key and when I tried stopping her, she gave me a slap. What? Becky, what is it? Huh? Okay, fine, I'm going out. What do you want? Go away with my car. Look, look, look. I do not have time for your idle chatter this morning. You hear me? Why don't you just go upstairs and sleep or something? Do something with your old self, witch. She slapped David and collected my car keys from him. She was about driving out. Your Majesty, tell your mother to give me the keys to the gate. I have something I want to go to. Where is her car key? I'm going out with it. Ikwe. Yes, Your Majesty. Get me all the keys to the cars in this palace. Yes, Your Majesty. Now! Here's the keys, yeah. Good. Mom, have yours. Thank you, son. Go where you want to go. I'll keep the rest. And what is that supposed to mean, Your Majesty? It means that from now on, you will not use any car in this palace unless I permit you. It means that from now onwards, you're not going out of this palace without my express permission. It means if you raise your hand again on any royal staff, I'm going to have you locked up for three days without food. What? <laughs> Your Majesty, I am the Queen of Eselu Kingdom. Don't forget. <laughs> queen of Eselu Kingdom. And where is your symbol of authority, if I may ask? Son, you were mom. Oh, please get your hands off me. Uh -uh. Oh, stop it. What is it? Huh? What is it? Oh, okay. You want to have sex with me? As what? As your wife? 
or as some sex hawker that you pay to satisfy your sex libido or what? Becky, you know I'm not in the mood for this. Now. Neither am I in the mood to have sex with you. And I will never be. Until you and your mother learn how to give me the respect I deserve as the queen of this land. Becky, get out of this bed. What, what did you say? Get out of this bed. Your oh, Highness. What is this? Get what out. What did I do? Oh! Why you get up and never you step your foot in this room again? Kingdom going to end? Huh? Bullying, insults, embarrassment, humiliation, a hateful husband, and a loveless marriage? Ha! To fear. It's not going to happen. Impossible. position as the queen, thereby making me miserable. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, hmm. it don't happen, no. You can push Becky, but you can never tell Becky where to fall. Hmm. Lucia learns the lesson with her blood. Obviously, you're the next online. Nonsense. You see this position? I will leave, I will be the queen, and I will enjoy it in peace. Whether you like it or not. Anybody. Nonsense. Bitches. I must. Nonsense. Lakuta, Makuta, Lakuta. Lakuta Makuta, Lakuta Makuta, Ape, Ape, Ape. I got room at Robocre. Lakuta Makuta, Lakuta Makuta, Ape, Ape. Yes, yes, she is. Take this dagger and stab her to death. No, 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 why is one? No, no, why don't. You do it yourself. Do it yourself, please. You want me to stab her? Yes, stab her. That will cost you more fifty thousand. Lakuta makuta. I am sure that is the last of her personal belongings in this room. Yes, Your Majesty. Take it back to the other room and come back quickly so you can help me rearrange my things nicely. Okay, Your Majesty. <sighs> what a long night. What a heated for this room, for the office of the queen, what a resounding victory at last. Ah, oh, Papa. 
I probably wish you were here. But I know that wherever you are, you will be very proud of me. Because I made it! Oh, I made it. I am now the authentic queen of a cell kingdom. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, power is so sweet. Ladies, I am giving you a full day off from your duties in the palace. From when your highness, your majesty, henceforth, your off duty day starts right now. Your Majesty, His Majesty and the Queen Mother went on an official meeting with the Princess and they will soon be back. And how is that supposed to be a problem? Your Majesty, there's no food for them to eat when they return. We're about preparing the food when you sent for us. I am a woman, so I can also cook. Proceed on your one day off work right this minute. And that's an order. I'll be in my room. I'm so tired. Me too. But I want to make food for the princess first. <sighs> Where is this Ijoma? Is she not aware that we are back? I sent all the palace maids on a day of duty. <clears throat> but why all of them at the same time? Well, let's just say that um, I hate to be partial. Let me get food for my granddaughter. There is no food in the house. You must be joking, right? His name is Becky Otto. And my princess is very hungry. Well, I have tea and bread in my room. She has to manage it while I fix her something. Ah. Who locked my room? Lock my room. Because the room now belongs to me. I have moved all your little belongings to my former room. Becky, give me my key now. I said the room now belongs to me. Says who? Oh, says this piece of paper. And what is in there? <laughs> it's the result of the scan that I went to do in the hospital today. <laughs> 
Yes, truly, standing right in front of you is carrying a baby boy. <laughs> and that makes me the first authentic queen of a cellar kingdom. For that reason, I and I alone has the right to occupy this room. Becky, there are people... You are in no position to give me any instructions in this palace. Not anymore. I run the show here. Excuse me. Becky! Be Becky! <sighs> She's crazy, Mom. How could the gods have chosen such a person as a royal bird in the first place? My son, don't blaspheme on the gods. They are wiser than us. <sighs> Mom, it beats me what the wisdom is in this case. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get up. I want to lie down. What's that supposed to I said get up. I want to lie down here alone. Why can't you go up to your room? Huh? Becky, there are other... Hey! Listen. Listen to me, you old woman. Your husband is dead. Mine has become the king of this kingdom. Therefore, all the power you used to wield in this kingdom has been transferred onto someone else. And that someone else is me. Do not make me feel that we cannot coexist in this palace. I'm sure you remember that there is a place where queen mothers who cannot coexist with the reigning queens stay. Except you want to be pushed into that place. Now get out! I said get up before I push you down now. Oh, go, 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 get, 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 get out of here. Oh, Which? Nonsense. Let me catch you here again. The little boy will kill you. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Uh, I don't see anything yet. I'm the end for you. <laughs> a month since you lost the baby. But anytime I come to your room, I meet you crying over the loss. He's, he's my baby. He's my baby. He was your baby. But the real baby is on its way. In fact, I'm here for us to start the process of making another baby together. What? What? Yes. Oh, God, thank you. Oh, thank you. It's okay. Having said that, I want to formally inform you that on my special requests, the Queen Mother has agreed to relinquish all her official duties and privileges to the Queen. I hope we're not going against the cultures of this land by doing so. Your Majesty.
What was that for? Your Majesty. The cannon of Royal Bed can only be fired seven times when a prince is born. Then why is it being fired today? I don't know, my, Your Majesty. Um, does anybody here know? Mm, not at all. Then let's go out. It's your destiny, destiny. You will be what you'll be. Destiny, destiny. What will be, will be. Cause whom the gods are blessed, no one can cut. Ambition can be a dangerous thing Some will do anything just to achieve it mm. They will kill, steal and destroy Just to get that position Someone else position Someone else possession But when the gods have chosen you Cause it's your destiny, destiny I present to you the next king of the Salu Kingdom. Why? I salute you, Great Obony. How do I and she is neither dead nor wounded. The gods rescued her from the evil ones that tried to kill her. Take her to your house. To my house? How do I take a pregnant woman who she's no longer mad? We have restored her sanity. 
As for you not having wife that will help you take care of her, Her Majesty is the one that will do that. But it must be in your house. Is the Queen Mother aware already? Inform her yourself. Only two of you should know that she's still alive until the day she delivers the king in her womb. King in her womb? She is tired and hungry. Take her to your house now. I've heard you, Greta Bunny. I've heard you. As the gods instructed, I took her home and informed Her Majesty. Gods of Essen, Your Majesty, I can't believe that all the while you knew Lucia was. It was alive. the instruction of the gods. On several occasions, I had wanted to tell you, but the fear of the consequences wouldn't let me. Besides. She was properly taken care of by a doctor and a midwife I hired for her from a distant town. Igwe! Indeed, the gods are wise. We've heard and seen their wisdom today. Your Majesty, the Queen Mother, the wise one, our people can only say thank you for making yourselves available to be so wonderfully used by the gods their blessings are already yours and for every living soul in a saloon our peace and joy shall be complete from now on help me help me help me help me help me When you are the chosen one, nothing or anyone can take your place. Cause your destiny is your destiny, no matter the plans of the enemy. People will try all kinds of things just to make sure you don't achieve it. They will put you up and down, but your back will never touch the ground. Mm, even if you fall, you'll rise again. Cause it's your time to reign. It's your destiny, destiny. you'll be destiny destiny